what's going on guys and today I'm going to be going through my best 5 Call of Duty YouTubers I do a lot of Call of Duty here on the channel and I play it in my spare time all the time and I've done it for years I play Call of Duty since I was about like 7 long story short I love playing Call of Duty and I get a lot of my helpful tips and guides and stuff like that and video ideas of YouTubers I watch so I thought I'd be give, I'll give you my top 5 Call of Duty YouTubers here today so let's get right into it Number five, we have Hollow. He's one of the most subscribed ones on my list here, but he doesn't really do Call of Duty that much anymore. He does other games like Fortnite and stuff like that. But when he did do Call of Duty, it was very helpful. He's a very good player as well. I just didn't really find him as interesting and as funny and entertaining to watch as the other ones on my list, but he's definitely one of the best Call of Duty players and YouTubers. But he doesn't really do it as much anymore, that's why he's at the bottom of this list. But he has got like 3 million subscribers. By, uh, by no means is he bad, he is really good. It's just he's not my favourite, as this is literally my opinion. This is no facts of who's better or anything. This is just my opinion, and at my in it, and in my opinion, this he's not as entertaining as the others on this list. So at number 4 I have Ali A. And you, I know what you guys are probably thinking, Ali A does just Fortnite now. And you're, you're right, Ali A literally only does Fortnite now. But his background on YouTube and what got him famous in the first place was uh, Call of Duty. And back in like the Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3 days, he absolutely blew up from Call of Duty. He was an amazing player and his YouTube channel grew so much from it. And his background on YouTube was Call of Duty. So most of his YouTube career he was at Call of Duty, so I just put him on this list anyway. Because the amount of growth he got off it was mind blowing and no one's done anything similar since that. So that's why he's at number 4 even though he does Fortnite now. He has still made loads of records for Call of Duty history. Coming in at number 3 I have the Korean Savage. He has got a nice 1.5 million subscribers. One of the top on this list. As the other two have a lot more subscribers especially Ali A has like 16 mil. But 1.5 mil for just a Call of Duty YouTuber, as the Korean Savage only does Call of Duty, is very good. He's a very good player, very helpful videos as well, like some class setups and just in-game things that really would make your game a lot better. He's not the most entertaining person in my opinion, as I don't really watch him that much. Number 1 and 2 are the YouTubers I watch the most, but the Korean Savage is definitely one up there. He has definitely helped me along the way with Call of Duty, and that's why he's at 3rd. Coming in at number 2 is probably one of the best gamers and Call of Duty players on the YouTube scene it is Swag. He's got like a 3.5 KD right now. He's like on the 4th on PlayStation for the amount of kills and stuff like that. He's doing so well just on the game and how good he is at the game. But he's also doing really well on YouTube right now. He is on like 900,000 subscribers. He is so close to that mil mark. He will hit it definitely early next year. But... He is blowing up on YouTube right now, and his he's just so good at the game. He gets a nuke with like every weapon. All his class setups and game tip, gaming tips are really helpful, and he gets like a nuke with every gun he uses. He is just so good at the game, and that's why he's at number two because he's really entertaining and he's really helpful to get better at Call of Duty. So at number one, this is just my favorite YouTuber. He's really entertaining. It's Dismo. He's not the best in the world, like Swag is probably a lot better than Dismo, but Dismo's definitely the most entertaining by far. Really funny, really helpful once again, but I just love his videos, they're really entertaining to watch, and I just get a lot of my inspiration and uh, video ideas and stuff like that from Dismo. He's really helped me in my channel and really helped me get better at Call of Duty. But, like I said, Swag is definitely the better player because he's absolutely amazing. But Dismo's still an incredible player. And just, I love him more than Swag. I can't really say more. I've, no, I've watched Dismo since he's literally started YouTube, which was like Black Ops 3 time. I've watched him from there onwards and he's grew so much. He's got like 1.3 million subscribers now. I can't actually remember. I think it's 1.3 or 1.6. He's just, he's in 1 mil. That's all I know, but... He's doing really well right now. He's on the road to two mil, and he would get he will get there soon because he is doing really well right now, and his videos are just really helpful to me. So that's the top five Call of Duty YouTubers, in my opinion at the minute. I will get back to Call of Duty videos, and I hope you guys had a really merry Christmas as well, as I didn't upload throughout Christmas because I was busy with my family and stuff like that. But 
I hope you guys had a good Christmas and I'll be back to the free uploads a week next week and I just thought I'd come back with this video today as it's just a random video that popped into my head. So if you guys enjoyed, please like the video, subscribe if you are new and I'll see you later.